Hello everyone, my name is Daniel Nunez and today is September 26th of 2012. What I would like to present today is a clear indication of over unity in both measurement of input wattage and output wattage from the unification coil rewired. So this is some of the best progress we've seen to date with this technology and I would like to share that with you today. So if you have any comments, questions, or feedback at the end, feel free to post in the comments section below. As always, thank you for your support and blessings. Alright, so here's the setup we're running today. We have an amplifier standing wattage of 21 watts. And as soon as we turn on the 864 hertz to activate this amplifier, as we will right here, lights turn on, and now the amplifier's load wattage is 34 watts that means that we had an increase of 13 watts so that 13 watts should match the input meters so we have 58.1 watts oh excuse me 58.1 volts right here is 57.8 and uh, 255 milliamps 252 or so that leaves us with somewhere around 14 watts that pretty much matches this wattage so now on this side we have 315 volts 258 milliamps 256 it dances around See. what's good to note is that the output milliamperage is more than the input milliamperage but there goes that breakdown and we're left with 82.68 watts that's nowhere near what's coming out from the wall there that's only 34 watts that means we have an increase of power of 458 percent so that's the setup there so there we have the coil that's your meter reading it's the wattage and it's a clear indicator of over unity so by the grace of vortex based mathematics we have a better understanding of how to make more energy efficient devices today